Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Let's Roll Outdoors. We're rolling out on the boat today. We're gonna go try to catch some fish in the backwaters. All right, gonna go ch chasing some uh, red drum today. Basic fishing, just a hook and a bait. Looking for any kind of action we can get on a beautiful morning. You know, it's the beginning of hunting season, but when that hunting season starts, so does the fishing season, right? That saltwater fishing really gets going in the fall here on the East Coast. So, uh, hey, maybe some people are in the woods this morning, but we're gonna be on the water, all right? So let's go see if we can get some action here on Let's Roll Outdoors. Let's roll. Okay, y'all good morning so we made a uh, made a quick run down the river and this is what we're doing today it's pretty simple fishing all right we're rolling up on the bank right here got one of the sons here with the throw net we're gonna run the bank looking for finger mullet uh, maybe some shrimp all right it's September the shrimp are still here uh, but not as thick as they were a couple weeks ago and uh, we're gonna throw the net catch some mullets and then we're just gonna use live mullets for bait some are gonna be on a, a free hook just floating out there in the uh, free swimming and then bobbers, all right? Bobbers and a hook with a live mullet or a live shrimp looking for red drum. It's gonna be in the 90s today. We had a little cold front the past couple days. It got down into the 70s, which was nice. But now it's jumped right back up into the, uh, in the 90s today. Nice morning right now, it's down in the 60s. And like I said, we're just gonna cruise the bank, look for bait. Once we get some bait, I'll show you how we hook them on and we'll start fishing. Oh yeah, got a net full of shrimp that time. All right. Yeah, I got the sun in my eyes here, but as you can see there, we're throwing the throw net, catching some live shrimp, catching some mullets, catching some menhaden. We're gonna throw those in the live well and uh, go fish. Let's, let's see here what we got. A bucket full of shrimp. Oh, there they are. All right, I got the sunlight on them. I don't know. If nothing else, if we don't catch any fish, we keep catching shrimp like this. We'll go home and eat those suckers. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're done catching bait. We're gonna go fish, but I wanted to show you what we were doing here. We were catching mullets, mullets, menhaden, and shrimp. And shrimp was the big catch of the day so far on the bait run. So check this out. We're gonna have shrimp popping out of this live well. I don't know if you can see it now. We're gonna say, look at all these shrimp. That's all shrimp. That's all shrimp jump in there. Let me get them back in there. Get back in there. Get in there. All right. Okay, I'm gonna get the sun to pick them all up. And then we got enough. We don't catch any fish today. We got dinner anyways, all right? I don't know if you can see that in the shade. All right, let me get a handful for you. So we got dinner one way or the other. Either we're gonna catch some fish or we're gonna go do, do some uh, peeling and eating some shrimp tonight. All right, let's roll. Yeah, what? Yeah. All right, I got some action here. Not fighting real hard. What you got, a pinfish? Monster. What is that? Monster. Oh, a little drum there. All right, folks, let me show you what we're doing here. All the, the mess masters are in the back messing around. All right, let's see here. We got a, took some of the bait out of the bucket here. Oh, what you get? You get a big shrimp there? All right, so here, we got a, about a medium sized shrimp here. I'm gonna hook him between those two black spots in his head. You go online and look how to hook a live shrimp. There's plenty of videos, right? But there, and he's just hanging like that in the water. Got a split shot there to kind of keep him down a little bit. Nice big bobber up here on the top. All right, let's cast him up against this shoreline and see what happens here. All right. Make sure the drag is set so it can pull a little bit. And it's that simple, folks. That simple. Hook the shrimp, cast it out. Watch your bobber. Bobber goes down. Hook him. Have a good time. Oh, 
Hey, y'all, check it out. We've been here about five minutes. Had to weed through some pinfish, but we got a fish on. Oh, I'm in the sun. In the sun, terrible, terrible cinematography here. Let me get on this side. What we got? What we got? Man in orange here. Got the orange man. That dark brackish water. Can't see him. All right. Nice bronze drum there. Look at that thing. In the net. All right. Keeper drum there. Like a 20 incher. Look how dark that sucker is, huh? So cool seeing them in the river like that. All right, so nice little red drum here. Good way to start the, the trip. All right, so we caught some uh, caught some live shrimp, caught some menhaden, and caught some mullets. And this one was on uh, shrimp, right, guys? Yeah. Yep. We're using a two-aught, three-aught uh, circle hook and just casting some bobbers with some uh, shrimp on there. The shrimp is just, let me turn around here so you can see what we're doing. Look, we're right up against the shoreline. And the bobbers are just drifting down the shoreline until they find a fish, essentially. And we're just kind of uh, posted up here, got the pole down, anchoring us here. And we're just casting the bobbers right up against the shoreline. Bobbers are drifting with the wind, finding the fish. And we just got a nice little keeper uh, puppy drum here. All right, let's go get another one. All right, folks, got another one on there. You can see a simple rig right there. You can see the bobber right there, like we're like we're fishing for bluegills. All right, here we go. Nice little little brackish red drum there. Nice fish. Little circle hook in the side of the mouth. Bronze drum there. Pretty, pretty fish. All right. So this is a fun thing you could do with kids, right? So you can see the, the technique is very simple. We're just using bobbers, 2 watt, 3 watt, uh light wire, circle hook, and just casting along the shoreline in this brackish water, just like you would be doing for, for bluegills, all right? So something to try out for uh, those of you who are inexperienced with saltwater fishing, some of you that just want to take your kids out on the boat and enjoy the day, or folks that uh, haven't done a lot of fishing and just want something to pull some drag besides a bluegill in a river, all right, this is something you can do on the, the coastal estuaries of uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, obviously. Um, get in this brackish water, find some fresh bait, throw on a bobber with a circle hook, and cast this shoreline, and you can have a good time. Simple fishing. All right, y'all. Finally got hooked up here. As soon as that thing landed, I think what happened, I think we got some activity going on here, and you see this with drums sometimes. Once the activity starts, whoa, whoa, watch out, watch out. Fix that anti-reverse trying to talk to you all I'm hitting all the buttons so as soon as that bobber landed this fish was gone there we go nice little red drum bring him to the net all right success we did it you know sometimes we try to film these shows right and we don't have cameramen just filming us the whole time and I'm, I'm not a big fan of just sitting there with the GoPro on all day long so when we decide to film it's like oh man hopefully we catch some fish to make a little episode and looks like we got that going on today here let me show you this fish all right i'm gonna get the little circle hook right out of the corner of the mouth there you see it i'm getting back in the water probably this one's a smaller one this one's a keeper it's like a 19 20 incher all right all right everybody looks like i got my second fish on here going to the back of the boat here let me see if i could just bring them back here to the front not a monster. Oh, actually, let me go on this side. Not make things difficult. We're gonna film into the sun here. Well, I don't know. This one might have a little more meat on him. Pull a little bit of drag. He's making a bigger splash either way. Bring him to the net. Oh, that's why he's kind of wrapped up in there. Easy, easy. All right, all right. A little bit. Oh, a little bigger there. 
a little bit bigger, maybe 22, 22 incher. But again, circle hook right in the corner of the mouth right there. Perfect. Little bobber action. All right, check him out. Look at him shining the sun there. All right. So cool looking at him all dark brown like that in this brackish water. So cool. When we catch them out in the ocean, out in, out in the bay, or uh, when we're surf fishing, they got like a much more like, they got the bronze, but they got blue. They're a little more pale. In this dark water, they get this real, real dark bronze color. Classic spot on the tail there. Good stuff. Hey, look at this little guy we just brought in here. Oh, little flatfish. Nice little flounder. Can't keep them though. It's a cool little catch though. Bonus. Hey y'all, we're hooked up again. We stopped filming for a while. We've been bouncing around trying some new spots. Um, but we're doing the same technique. Right now we're just like if, as if you were bass fishing. We're just using the trolling motor going down the bank. And uh, I casted a live mullet right there about two feet off the bank. And that bobber, oh that bobber looks like it's getting hit too. This one acts like he's a little, little, uh, a little more feisty. Woo, look at that thing. All right, landed him. Man, look how orange and bronze. Here, bring that thing in here. All right, look at that thing. All right. Another little puppy drum there. And again, look at that. Three-out circle hook right in the corner of his mouth. All right. All right. Successful day out here. North Carolina, September, red drum fishing here in this brackish water. Good stuff. All right, we've been out here all day. I uh, got out here about, I don't know, we'll probably start fishing around 7.30. It's about noon now. And like I said, simple fishing. Bobber, circle hook, hook him right between those black spots in his head right there. Like so. All right, and, and this is just a simple, uh, clip bobber all right it's not a slip bobber we're not doing anything fancy folks nothing fancy here we keep it simple I'm gonna go over on this side and we're just casting right up against the shoreline like so wait for that bobber to go down oh hey y'all just as soon as I shut off the camera we turned it around and my buddy's hooked up up front here the captain of the boat looks like a good one All right, let's see. Pulling a little drag there. Nice. Looks like another, uh, about another 19, 20 incher there. How about like 23, 4? Oh, he's going big, huh? 23 or 4. Oh, look at that little fat dude. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, and while we're while we're batting ahead while we got a good average here I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video while they're messing with the fish back there Thanks for joining us on another edition of let's roll outdoors. All right, just out here doing some family friendly adventures Where's the fish at? I'm trying to stay like hold them up for me in the back. That's what we were catching today All right, gotta get my fingers right for the selfie cam. All right little red drum action in some brackish water out of North Carolina fun stuff take your kids take folks that don't know how to fish and even if you're a pro Hey, sometimes fishing like this is just a good time. They got they got fish flopping in the boat, messing up my whole recording here. There we go. Here. Oh, okay, hold on. We're gonna throw this one back, and we're gonna wrap up the episode here. All right, <laughs> got the thumbs up from the captain. You can see the shoreline structure there, and that's it. Let's roll. Thanks for joining us again. We'll see you next time.